They almost had one good day. That is today we check in with Uki Violetta, the self-described psychic from Nijisanji English's Noctics Wave. Taking to Twitter yesterday to say thank you artists. Know that you are amazing and you should be proud of your work. You are so loved and appreciated. People who spread negativity have already made up their mind, so don't let a few bit define your worth and your skill. Keep doing what you love. This clearly being an actual tweet from Uki, as this Nijisanji English live does not miss a single day without tweeting out something about b****. This tweet receiving initial support until receiving this reply, asking, what do you think about straight white men? Remind us of your opinion about straight white men, please, Mr. Positivity and Love Spreader. The reasoning for this question being clear later, as to the surprise of many, Uki would reply saying, they're just as irresponsible and selfish as your response. Once again, this is Niji Sanji English's Uki Violetta, a corporate agency VTuber labeling straight white men as irresponsible and selfish. This particular tweet receiving massive amounts of attention as it is on its way to 1 million views at the time of this recording. And the timing of this remark could not be worse. As today, Uki's Wave Noctics are celebrating their second anniversary complete with a brand new merch drop. This now turning us over to the Nijisanji subreddit, wherein last night this was the top rated post, taking a screenshot of that interaction and saying, quote, Uki trying to go five nanoseconds without raging about white people challenge impossible. Many thinking this particular comment was isolated until a nearly three minute compilation also started making its rounds. This compilation highlighting numerous instances in which Uki over the past two years has mentioned white people on stream and some would argue in a disparaging manner. As also being spread were the actual timestamps of the streams in which these remarks were made. We will now present clips of these streams, backing up just a few seconds from the provided timestamps to offer as much context as possible within this video. And for further context, you can check out the links below in the description if you'd like to view them and judge on your own. This first clip entitled, The Host Won't Let Me Win Because They Are White People. Ooh. Category Ooh. is food and drink. Food and food drink. And drink. And drink. Oh. Final 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 I don't know why did I even join this call. <laughs> 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 These have literally zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's because the, yeah, the hosts are two okay. white people. <laughs> <laughs> The second clip entitled, While Impersonating Reimu, that being Reimu Endo, another Nijisanji English liver, and saying, white people can't cook. You need to travel out of country for food? Mm? You know, white people don't cook that good. <laughs> what? And here we have another collab stream with the title of, Who Walks and Runs in the Summer? White People. Right. I only walk and run in the summer. I need to make sure that everybody knows. Who does walk and run in the summer? It's so hot. Are you ready for I another mean, face -off? no one does. I guess. I person from each team. Join me over White here. people. <laughs> uh, now to hold on, now to hold on. Finally, now we have a solo stream entitled White Man Does the Bare Minimum. What have you guys been up to? He's sweet. Yeah, he is. Haha. <laughs> Surprise. White Man Does the Bare Minimum. And further along, we have this one entitled, You're a effing white male. Bitch. Call out Max bullshit or avoid further trouble. Well, first of all, leave us out of it. Don't look at me. But also, obviously, you're a fucking psychotic, crazy white man. Now, once again, we are back with a collab stream entitled White People Can't Kiss. I think that I'm like, I think I'm not a bad kisser. So I just wanted, I was just curious to. Because, you know, some people. You know how when like white people kiss. <laughs> I don't want you me what like in the movies and stuff when white people kiss it's like they look like they're in pain they, it looks like they like, don't want to like, do it like like fishes going on to each other and just sucking their faces not even fishes it's like it's worse than fish <laughs> <laughs> The next two clips from a solo stream with this title being some white people give him a friendly greeting on the street he assumes they're racist 
The way everyone greets you, it freaks me out. I don't know you. Exactly. You're just walking around and then this old white couple passes by you and they're like, hello, whatever. And I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> Can I help you? Why did we don't know each other? Why did you say hello? Why are you smiling at me? <laughs> Why are you talking to me? What business do you have with me? And you know, by the time I'm thinking all these thoughts, they're like, they've already moved on and walked down the street and kept minding their business. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you live in a big city, you just mind, everyone minds their business. You do what you do. But when you live in a small town, your business is everyone else's business, whether you like it or not. And everyone's, everyone else's business becomes your business. I don't really like that. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure the town had things to say. Um, cause you know, all these white people are out here and it's just like, where all these Asian people come from? <laughs> um, Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? And we are back again with another collab stream, this time with the title, White People's Hot Dogs Suck. Wait, I've never heard of pineapple sauce before. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, what's it's pineapple really good. sauce? I know I'm white, so but like, damn, I thought I would know a little something, you know? Yeah, white people's hot dog kind of suck, I'm gonna lie. I don't really like hot dogs, to be honest. Because you have to have the good one. You know what? Yeah. White people's hot dog sucks in more way than one. <laughs> I'm just going to say that oh, right now. Oh, no. Okay, come you. on, bro. Well, you want to change my mind? But You want to change my mind? Uh, I'm a, I'm a pass. You, I'll, I'll find someone else for you, you know? <laughs> You can take rent or something, man. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm good. And now with a solo stream with this title, these clothes will only match you if you're a pasty white person. Apparently there's something that was trending on TikTok. I tested the fleece lined sheer tights that TikTokers love. Um, it kind of looks bad. Uh, it kind of looks like it would match you if you were a pasty white person so i'm gonna click out of that and finally we have this solo clip entitled creepy ass white man i hate you oh look at this guy Fuck <laughs> bitch. Fucking scary ass creepy white man hate you that last clip being from a stream of the Mortuary Assistant with numerous defenders of Uki pointing out, and today even making this into their banner, this is the exact white person they are using to hate Uki Violetta. Others still taking Uki to task as he is equating a monster to a white man. And while this was the top post on the Nijisanji subreddit last night, in real time on stream, we saw this happen. That post being removed with, sorry, this post has been removed by the moderators of r slash Niji Sanji, even though at this time the tweets are still up on Twitter.com. And also regarding that compilation video that was also very popular on the subreddit last night, that had also been removed. Along with this questioning thread, was it a secret that Uki is racist towards white people? Many pointing out that there has been little to no moderation in the past two weeks on the Niji Sanji subreddit, and that the only accounts that have moderation powers are official members of Niji Sanji. Many of these accounts believe 
belonging to Niji Sanji Livers that don't even belong to the company any longer, and with Uki himself being listed as one of those moderators. So once again, the subreddit that has seen little to no moderation in the past two weeks suddenly having a bout of moderation. This also not helping Uki's search results on YouTube. Uki Violetta Racist being the second suggested result, along with other recommendations of Uki Violetta Racist. Uki Violetta Racist Compilation. Uki Violetta White People. And Uki Violetta White Men. Numerous other users also referencing back to an incident in which Nijisanji English's Inna Alouette had arguably made stereotypical remarks on one stream, that stream being alongside Kyo Kanako. Kyo stepping in and explaining to Inna after the stream as to why it could be seen as stereotypical, and Inna herself making an apology within a day. Whereas the recently graduated Kyo Kanako had also recently apologized for remarks that some had seen as culturally insensitive. That apology from Kyo coming just days after he had made those remarks and initially saying he would not apologize. But at this time, the tweet from Uki is still up and on its way to 1 million views, with little to no indication if Nijisanji management is aware of this tweet, or even the history of Uki addressing white people on numerous streams. Reaction to that tweet ranging from, how did he fall for the most obvious bait ever? It's not like this is surprising coming from him. He's made numerous comments how white people are creepy, lazy, and bad in bed, or whatever. It's always shocking how much these guys can get away with. Thank God the rich VTuber with a million followers is here to educate us irresponsible plebs on privilege. It's absolutely effed up how so many people are unironically hyping Uki up for his blatant racism. I can definitely see some of these as jokey, but yeah, that white town bit definitely felt like he assumes white people are racist. Like, you can joke around, but I also feel like after a while, the joke is just quote-unquote white people and it gets old. Just like any race-based joke. Are they not corporate VTubers? They need to watch how they speak sometimes. Stuff like this is gonna backfire on them some days. One racial joke here and there isn't a big deal, but when you're quote-unquote joking this much and always about the same group of people, it starts to look like you're just trying to use humor to express bigotry in a safe way. Alongside, if you are making fun of a group of people because of their sex, orientation, religion, or race, it just makes you a bad person. We also have an update in regards to those posts on the subreddit being taken down. This comment saying, mods are deleting these even though this tweet is still up. This is literally a tweet from a Nijisanji talent posted today that's not deleted. How is this against the rules? The rule apparently given for one of those deletions being your post from Nijisanji was removed because of quote-unquote participation in slash instigation of drama. Further, we have jokes like this can be funny as long as you're not too sensitive, but this has become a pattern for Uki, and to my knowledge, he has never said anything about any other race. At that point, it feels targeted and seriously icky. And we have further reactions such as Jordan Wharton saying, given I've worked with Nijisanji and any color many times in the past, this is incredibly hurtful to see. Racism, sexism, and hate towards sexuality has no place in any industry. I hope management takes this very seriously and takes action. We also have speaks of positivity and against negativity proceeds to be racist and sexist. Thanks, as an artist, I will keep doing what I'm doing despite your negativity. And I hope all white men ignore you and don't let you define their worth and skill with your horrid take. Further, we have that person was very obviously baiting, but being hateful to any group of people based on things like their skin color ain't it. Not a good look saying that, especially considering you said that stuff several times. Greatly disappointed by the statement. That's just blatant racism. Yeah, I think Nietzsche EN's current reputation is fully deserved. If it was just a one-off joke, I could understand, but he's done this like eight times now, and I think he genuinely just doesn't like white people. Racism and bullying alive and well in Niji Sanji. Leave it to Niji Sanji to hire a racist to the company. I guess this explains why 39 Daft loves Niji Sanji. Jokes aside, if you are on social media, don't fall for obvious bait. You just proved their point. Thanks for telling the class, I guess. This dude's obsessed with white people, and damn, no wonder Kyo hightailed it out of there. Imagine having a co-worker as insufferable as this actual nightmare. That's just straight-up racism from a Niji Sanji VTuber. Well, okay. I saw this as basically this person being racist, talking about straight white people. It doesn't matter what race you are. Don't let anyone disrespect you because of your race. We are all human. This gives me the ick. Applying to an ugly tweet with another ugly tweet doesn't make you look better. I had assumed you wanted fans of all complexions, but this shows otherwise. Skin color doesn't make a person good or bad. So much for being loved and appreciated. And okay, so that's just straight 
straight up racism from a corporate VTuber then. Comments like these being no secret to Uki's fan base, many of them calling him Mama, and leaving comments like, Uki slayed for this, Mama has my full respect. Alongside, this is the realest thing I've seen all day, I love Uki Mama. Many users going on to retweet this comic from Flork of Cows, and this time making an Uki edit, while we also have Uki is trying to show Niji EN management what quote unquote irreputable damage to the company truly means. This leading to other users to look up other members within Niji Sanja English, including Vox Akama and his tweet history. Some users pointing out a series of tweets from late 2022 in which he had used a term that is seen as more acceptable in certain countries than others. Vox not only using this term not once or twice, but three different times in October, November, and December of 2022. This all while Niji Sanja English almost had one good PR day. This coming after an artist who had been selling Niji Sanja English fan merch at a local convention over this past weekend had gone on to share negative encounters that they had experienced at this convention. This artist then going on to receive loads of support from the artist community on Twitter and potentially prompting this tweet from Niji Sanji English's Remo Endo saying, come here artist, just bought Nutella. I'll share you a spoon of Nutella just for this time, one time only. And then a half hour later, Niji Sanji English's Renzoto would tweet out, artist, always create and have fun. Focus on the positivity and love around you that comes from what you've made. That's what you and everyone deserves. You are awesome. Support each other and create happiness. The rest is meaningless. These Niji Sanji English livers not quote retweeting or retweeting this particular artist directly. Some saying that would be overwhelming for the artist. Others stating that the Niji Sanji English talents can't support the artist directly as they are selling merchandise of Niji Sanji intellectual property. As then just minutes later after Ren's tweet, we would have another one from Maria Marionette. This one reading, thank you artist. I'm always excited to see the fan art you draw and I hope you will be able to draw what you want whenever you want as well. This then followed by another tweet by Vanta Crowbringer, remarking artists create what you want to create. Art is about expression and I hope you'll continue to express the things you love with others who love it. That's all that matters. Thank you for sharing your vision with the rest of us. And also turning heads saying this, I love artists and art. It's why I joined this company so that I could help elevate artists further, even if only by a little. Thank you for continuing to support us with your art through everything. As then an hour later, in Alouette would also tweet out, thank you to each and every single artist that exists on this planet. And then next we'd have Folger Ovid remarking, thank you everyone who shows their passion for what they love through any creative medium, fan art, cosplay, fan fiction, clips, crafts, etc. All of it goes on to inspire more people than you ever know. Thank you for keeping your fandoms alive and never stop sharing that passion. Later, Aya Amare would tweet, I'm so grateful for all the amazing artists and their art. You guys inspire me all the time. I grew up being told that art wasn't worth pursuing, that it was useless, and so was anyone who pursued it. I love seeing artists posting their beautiful works for everyone to see. We also had Victoria Brightshield posting up this artwork and saying, I really, really do appreciate it, giving out this thank you artist. This giving context to Uki's initial tweet in which he was thanking artists. As to many, it was seen as a coordinated effort by Niji Sanji English talents, which the livers themselves have a history of performing with one another. These tweet bombs receiving initial support, but then later criticism due to many seeing these efforts as inorganic. Others pointing out that it is potentially ironic that while the Niji Sanji livers are professing their appreciation for artists, recently it was made clear that perhaps the Niji Sanji company themselves do not appreciate artists. With accounts of artists not being paid by the company and instead the livers themselves eventually being forced to pay the artists out of their own pocket. And it did not stop there as we once again have Victoria Brightshield responding to a tweet from a random Twitter user with a brand new account and saying, explain to me how supporting fan artists make me a corporate bootlicker without using random buzzwords you've learned this week. That user going on to block Victoria. Victoria then taking a screenshot of that block and posting it, saying, little bro, where's your spine? That account then disappearing. Some users surprised that a Niji Sanji English liver would call out a random user on Twitter, as then hours later, Uki would do the same but this time leading to loads of backlash to the Niji Sanji English liver directly. And following that lead was also Niji Sanji English's Yuki Wilson, contemplating returning back to streaming tonight, having also sent out his own artist supporting tweet saying, also never let anyone bully you into stopping drawing what you are passionate about. Fan art is the cutest shit ever. Some users taking Yuki to task as that particular liver had 
earlier ran into a major problem regarding artwork, wherein Yuki had not credited an artist, instead taking their art and giving it to another artist to use as a reference, and then not acknowledging that until being called out by the artist themselves. That entire process throwing Yuki into a streaming hiatus and being drawn out over the course of 10 weeks. But that's not where it stops, as Yuki would also receive this reply, saying, good thing no one gets bullied in Nijisanji EN. This corporate VTuber, again, responding to a random user on Twitter, saying, did you form that opinion from your favorite drama tuber? You doing this is harassment. Leave my community alone and spend time doing things you love instead of spreading trash. However, unlike in the instance with Victoria Brightshield, where the user had simply removed their account, Yuki would firsthand understand the perils of replying to random users on Twitter, as they can continue to reply and reply. This user replying, yeah, I learned from my favorite drama tubers, Niji Sanji and Alira Pandora, the latter of whose slanderous and bullying stream you uncritically retweeted and without later remorse. Selene could have died and you joined in on a gang beating to save your job? This user continuing, Selene is safe, she is not my concern anymore. I worry for the next person to get the Selene treatment. And if these people pretend nobody did anything bad to Selene, that Selene treatment will continue for the next person to get the attention of the bully slash bullies within Niji EN. Also, it's a bit hypocritical to take part in bullying and then go out and proclaim to others, do not let themselves be bullied. Those replies receiving the attention of the Niji Sanji subreddit saying, starting to think the entire branch is entering meltdown. LOL, that would have been a good reply if his own company wasn't the one that spread the bullying rumor. What are you guys effing doing responding to these people? You have now just asked for more people to target you in your tweets. Like I said, these talents need to block and ignore at this point. They are going to refuel the flames if they take the bait. We also have dude really called the harassment claims an opinion and dude needs to close the app and take a hike. I think he's probably wired, but replying to trolls never makes things better. As lastly, we have bro come on. I get that you want to keep your job and maybe don't think Niji was wrong, but the talents need to shut the F up if they want Niji to recover from this. They aren't doing the quote unquote sick nasty burn that they think they are. The only thing they're burning is themselves because the environment right now is not conducive to these clever responses. This whole while Niji Sanji is trying to move on. Yesterday wishing Inna Alouette a happy birthday and exactly two weeks after the Selene Tatsuki termination returning to pushing out new merchandise saying the Noctix produce merch is complete. That once again lining up with the Noctix second anniversary merch drop and also this announcement asking are you ready for Noctix's second single Break Free this music video post featuring this artwork with many users going on to notice that that artwork itself had looked very similar to the Bloodhounds artwork from Hollow Stars English's group Armus Bloodhounds being their debut original song with many users especially questioning the composition of these two pieces with one another that while some fans are still still having fun. Akun here putting on a mask of the Any Color CEO and saying check out my yachts. This past weekend being in these photos saying time to open up memories door of 2024. Any of the cosplayers feel free to tag yourselves taken at Katsukon. Akun along with the cosplayers permission handing them termination notices and receiving the appropriate response back as Akun would not only share even more photos while Azarian would share good day at Fan Expo and showing off the these cosplayers also having their own form of fun. But that's not the only controversy happening over the past day as we also have V Shoujo riling up the scene by simply tweeting out VTubers, they'll never recover. As also causing a ruckus is Hololive, this time with Hololive Japan's Usada Pakora, last night posting up this photo of her f***ing monkey in an English saying, it's alive. And that is all for this episode. As a quick note, there is a player in Tekken 8 right now using my name, that that is not me. I have been far, far, far too busy lately. But I would like to thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing below. Feel free to send in your VTuber news to our Discord, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. So, as you can see on the screen, um, I have heterophobia. Um, wait, no, that's not the word. Um, heterochromia. Heterochromia, that's the word.